Hey everyone, Snoodly Bob here. I'm not going to waste your time by talking too much before you get to the video. I just want to let you guys know that I'm very thankful that you've come to my channel to watch the content. And I want to draw your attention to the charities that we're raising money for, which are located in links down in the description below. Alrighty, have yourself a great day and enjoy the content. All right, let's get this show on the road and play some games. Guess we'll just do new game. Normal. All right, so I don't... Oh, I need to look up when this game takes place in the timeline while the opening cutscene is playing. Oops. Oh, the rain. I do love me some rain. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is day one of Fatal Frame 3. Okay, it appears that we've gotten into a car accident. Uh oh. I'm sure he's fine. Okay, he might not be fine. <laughs> Who let Leon drive? It's true. Should we get going? Whoa, this game's I in English? This house was haunted. Too bad it's not. Mm. English voice acting. Rumors are just rumors. I'm gonna load these up. Um, this game takes place two months after uh, Fatal Frame 2. So it's also in 1988. Oh, fake ghost. Okay. You? A real ghost? Oh. All of this stuff looks really familiar, but it could just be that the architecture is similar. Oh, am I Where playable yet? Am I? Yes? Yes. Okay. What is the run button? Oh, it seems like it's an actual run. Okay, good, good. I don't have a camera yet, so we'll just run through the prologue, I guess. Ooh. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. Oh, the ghost is gone. I guess we haven't established who we are yet. So we could follow the ghost, or... Go other ways. Also, did it just skip the door animation? Yo, door skip? Hi. You seem not the friendliest. You're definitely not the friendliest. Shit, 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 shit. 
I don't have a camera. What do you mean? Oh, I do have a camera. You cannot use this at the mini screen. How do I use the camera? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, there we go. No, I, I see. Okay. How do I... What? God, is this gonna have like the same hitboxes as Fatal Frame 4? Big yikes, if yes. I'm so confused! I hit him twice! What is happening? We're gonna go back into the other room because I'm gonna die in the prologue. <laughs> Makes sense though. I'm I'm bad at video games. You cannot escape. I can escape. I'm leaving. I'm not leaving. I can't escape. Oh god. Now you will die. Now you will die. They all run for their lives at a very slow trot. It's true. This is a dead end. Scripted death? I don't know how I'm supposed to take this guy out. Ooh, look at that stair slide. He's just like, yo, I'm gonna just pop up there right quick. Oh, wait, okay. We made it. Easy clap. Maybe we should just follow the, the guy now. <laughs> so we don't die. Hi. Forever. No, thank you. It's snowing at this time of year. All right, the dude went this way. We're gonna just follow the dude from here on. Hello. I agree with you, friend, though. It's very outbreak, but it also feels kind of silent hilly, like with the grainy like texture and stuff. Cutscene. Oh, she's blossomed. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, so our name is Ray. Oh, it, it was nothing. It was something. We almost died. <laughs> yeah, Mag, I gotta start learning how to speedrun it again. Uh, that's my ticket back into the game. This was real. Oh God, she ate some bad Taco Bell. Oh, God damn it, we're in the snow plates again.
I agree. For a casual player, Outbreak is kind of... If you're playing solo. Look at that architecture. Title card. Uh, uh, Hellfire? How many fatal friends are there? Five. This place is... Power one. The sign. Alright, so which... There's a large door in the entry hall. This could be the entrance to the manor. Hanging on both sides of the door, there are candles that burn with a blue flame. I don't really remember, but maybe this is how I got in here. Right now, the doors are firmly closed. So... Which ritual went wrong this time? Notched arrow. I can't open them. Full of nails and chisels. Yeah, her outfit's pretty cool. Comparatively, she's wearing pants, which is a new uh, direction. The chest against the wall of the passageway, there's some old candles and things inside. Anything on it? I'm looking for heels immediately. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, you can never find the key codes. You have to look for all of the, uh, all of the, um, the documents. Oh, hi. Five hundred points. I don't know if I want to go through the little kid door though. A very big room. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go up the stairs first. I want to see if there's anything over. Oh, it's another door. It sure does take a long fucking time to open doors. Oh no! I'm ghost! Hey, I need to take a picture. Hello? Does this protagonist do like what the other protagonist did before as well? There's a small image on top of a pedestal. Where they look in certain directions where there's an item. Oh, there's an item over there. I see that. Can I go behind this? No. Thanks to at Final Fantasy for being awesome. Believe in oh. the boogeyman. I agree. Attack power. Plus six. Nice. Bad dance, thank you so much. For the 42 months. You have to tell me something. Okay, I'm all ears. We're all I really appreciate you. I'm reading it. Sorry. I hope you're having a wonderful day. <clears throat> we'll upgrade that. Upgrade that in a moment. We'll upgrade this. We're watching this, uh... Gave, uh, Aerith grid. black pencil. Oh, the pencil hey, flip! Hello, kids. Aerith pencil. Okay, they do. I saw it. Alcove is decorated as originally something, so, like... Yeah, there you go. You see how she tilts her head? You know! There's a piece of paper or something on the floor. Memo in shaky hand. It's not my fault. I didn't choose to survive. I didn't choose the survival life. The survival life chose me, baby. Alright, a lot of chests in here. Perhaps an another heel. There's a clock on the wall. Big boxes, lacquer on the outside of the uh, color is faded. Old Japanese chests. There's some old towels and cloths. Nothing to get too excited about. I, for one, like good linens, so I am excited. Oh, there's a Hazuki doll, or whatever they're called. Kind of low cupboard. Oh, inside the chest, it looks like something a young girl might have worn. Let's see, can we take pictures of these in this one? We need more Dan clips. I'm always down for more Dan clips. 
Here's another door. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're not going that way. Okay. Well, now we'll go the other way with a huge room. The character still runs a little funny for me. She looks like she's limping all the time. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I don't see enough people run in daily life to know what good running actually looks like. Hmm. I don't know, do people like this game? Comparatively? I know people really, really like Fatal Frame 2. And people don't really care for the new remakes on Steam. Don't give them the chance, oh my god. Now I'm exquisitely terrified. But I usually base, like, whether or not a game is interesting to people or not by when you put the game uh, category into OBS. Stone the size of a human head, there's a smell of dye. Um, it will tell you how many viewers are in that category and how many followers there are. And uh, this one was really low in both regards comparatively to the other games, which is which is pretty bad. So this one, in this one, um, or let, let me rephrase that. Fatal Frame 2, when I played it, had like 300 viewers and like several thousand followers, right? Fatal Frame 1 had less than that, um, but still like thousands of followers. This one has one that had one viewer and like 9,000 or less followers. And I was like, it's significantly lower than the other one so far. Taking that picture. Give me them points. Oh, that's another freaking staircase. Oh my god. So uh, they all seem to be broken. Very safe Japanese chest. I can't open the doors. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between them. I mean, if someone told me who the main character was, I would be able to be like, oh, okay, so that's Fatal Frame 4. Now that I've played them. Also, I do feel like her running speed in this game is slower than the running speed in Fatal Frame 2, which is sad. Because I really liked the running speed in Fatal Frame 2, and this just feels very slow to me. Comparatively. Bellflower. Okay, gotta remember up the ladder, there's a bellflower thing. Interesting, ladders are not automatic. It's sealed by a strong power, so we have to go up the stairs. Darn you, manual ladders! I know, right? Of all the things, people... If anyone watches the YouTube videos, people probably watch these VODs later and go, Damn, this guy sure does bitch about a lot of, like, random stuff. And it's like, you don't understand, man. Back in the days, we had automatic ladders. Give me them points, baby. Uh, let's see. Yeah, hell yeah. How you doing, Winglet? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> but I had spicy food for dinner and I don't want to scratch it with my hands. The Camera Obscura? Placed there by Winglet's favorite kind of enemy, Disembodied Arms? Something is reflecting light. The Camera Obscura! It's an old-fashioned bellows camera. Some kind of occult markings in cha enchased metal cover. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Some kind of occult markings in chased metal cover the whole body. It still looks to be in good condition. There's some old-fashioned writing carved on the back. Camera Obscura. Maybe that's the name of the camera. Basic functions and shoot instructions added to the file. Okay. Kind of already know how to take pictures, because... 
I've been taking it. It's my new save point. Yeah. Okay. So now the lanterns are blue. Oh, the save menu is the same as Fatal Frame 2. Except in a different shade. It's blue now. Return to game. I really like the blue undertones of her shirt and the save stuff. I, I'm a huge fan of blue in general, so kind of works out in my favor. <laughs> Door loading screens, man. So we can go that way. Or we can go this way. I don't know if there's... Ooh, this camera angle. A people has been opening the wall. The sound seems to be coming from there. Stand in front of the hole and press the X button to have a look through it. Oh, they're chiseling. Chiseling away. Well, oh, there's a ghost here. What the fuck was that? Oh, goodbye! In a big room and several lights seem to be burning, but it's dark in the corners and hard to see. Is it one of these a door? Bye, have a wonderful time! We look in here again? This would be like the perfect opportunity for like a jump scare. Like if you look long enough, something pops up and goes, brah! Oh, wait, did that open up the door in the big room? Bet you it did. I can see your pants through your dress. Need to put some more clothes on. Because I'm a coward. So our name is Ray Kurosawa. Good to know. He doesn't gallop downstairs. I. Uh, which door is blocked by this one, right? That was the one that was being held shut by a force. Let's see if it's open. What? Uh, okay. Was there another door? Held together by some force, perhaps. Oh, cutscene, hell yeah. In who? Hi. Friendly as hell. Next <laughs> show, Battle Control has been added to the file. 
I didn't kill anyone. I want to get that fatal frame, baby. Oh, this is the zero shot, not the fatal frame. Whoa! Okay, hi. Jesus. I didn't do anything with your husband. We can probably get a better, we can probably actually get the Fatal Frame if we let her get really close to attacking. I like plants. No, never mind. Didn't work. I wasn't blaming the child. You blame me. I don't even know you. I also like plants. It was like you took my husband. I was like, no. I don't know you, lady. Still, huh? I thought maybe it'd be open because we got the ghost. It seems like we're. I can't tell if we're back to the charge mechanic of the camera or the distance one. Oh shoot, I wiped my eye with my fingers. That, that's gonna hurt. Of her. Crazy people are worth double points. With everyone else. Yes, yes, if I had died with everyone else, then I would. Are you all right? Don't turn around. Shirt on, it's this chilly outside. Touch me, bad touch. It was all a dream. Uh -oh. Woo, tinnitus. Uh, Ray? 
Um. Is everything okay? I. I heard you cry out. Well, I was worried. You've been having so many nightmares lately. What? I'm fine. But I. I. I just. Perfect. Hide your emotions. That works out really well in all of these games. What's up, Cry? Was it all just a dream? Anyway, I'd better get up. The tattooed woman. The bruise appears. No book use. During the course of the game, when you will find when you find a new information, it will be recorded in the notebook. When there is a new entry in the notebook, the title will appear in the top right. You can access the notebook from the menu. If you press the L1 button while the item name is shown in the top right, you can refer to that item. I felt a sharp pain in my shoulders when I woke up. For a moment, I thought I could see some kind of bruise on my skin. But when I looked again, there was nothing there. Was it just a dream? And in house. I wasn't motivated enough to find out much about the place before I went. About all I knew was that it was supposed to be haunted. What was behind the strange daydream vision I had in that house in the snow? Was I just worn out, still scarred by the accident? Or are the rumors true? Was he really there? Manner of sleep. The ruined house I wandered in my dream the night I got back after my vision on that assignment. Something about it reminded me of the haunted house where I saw you. It seemed too real to be a dream. Daydreams, visions, maybe I'm just tired. You also, my fiancé, he was an editor who worked on books of folklore, philosophy, and anthropology. Miku Hanasaki. Miko Anasaki, younger sister of Yu's best friend. She lives with me now and works as my assistant. I haven't met her brother. Yu told me she had lost a relative in an accident. She helps me out in all kinds of ways, not just with work. She's cheerful and hardworking. If not for her, I don't know how I would have made it through after Yu passed away. Why does that name sound super familiar? The Tattooed Woman. The woman who appeared in my dream of the manor, her whole body covered in a blue tattoo. She came closer and I ran away, before I knew what was happening. All I remember is an intense fear. I can still feel her cold, stabbing fingers on the back of my shoulder where she touched me. It's hard to believe it was only a dream. Mother and daughter. The mother and child who appeared in my dream in old-fashioned kimonos. They were looking for someone calling out in sad voices to him. Who could they be? Okay. There isn't any tape I want to listen to right now. What the hell? This is weird. It's like a, it's like we're back in normal life. So it's this is like The Sims. Uh, she has a good eye for these things, but most of them I've hardly even glanced at. On the shelf is a camera I never use anymore. When I used to take pictures for fun. Several handmade scented candles on top of the desk. Miku made them. She probably made them especially with me in mind, but for that reason I can't bring myself to light them. And so they just sit here unlit and un. On the desk of our sketchbook and appointment book, Miku made for me to keep track of all my work assignments. Squeeze into the corner of the page the handwritten warning, don't work too hard. Maybe I've been working too hard since that day, but that's the way I prefer it right now. <laughs> Pin up on the wall, there are more scenery shots now than there used to be. I don't feel ready yet for projects that involve taking pictures of people. Hey, what's this? A ghost! My clothes are thrown clearlessly in the closet. I've never been a tidy person. Uh, here we go. She would never let me in the state. Okay. Can this door open separately or no? Hey, what's up, Deeks? Made a mistake. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> there was! And it was fast! What's the girl's name? Miku Hanasaki? Why is that super familiar to me? Oh, that's why it sounds super familiar to me. That's the pro tag from Fatal Frame 1. Cool. Okay. Right 
Raccoon and rolled down shade hangs over the window. Miku picked it out and bought it for us the other day. <clears throat> Good morning, Ray. So that's the protagonist from Fatal Frame 1. Well, I only have to do this for another 20 seconds. That's fine. We're going to get DFCA for Bad Dance Clip. So worth it. God damn it. I think I told you that three contains characters from previous games. Yeah, you probably did, but I didn't remember like their some of their names. So this is Miku's room, even if this is my house. I don't really like to go into a room without permission. I know Miku wouldn't care at all, though. Oh, wait, I missed the uh, the double DMCA. I made a mistake. Wait, what was your mistake? Still. I don't think I saw it if you posted it. Also, how did y'all's like co-op session in Outbreak go the other day? I saw Gragons, you, Witch, and Clicks were playing. Use room. Ever since the accident, I try not to come in here unless I have a good reason. Damn, it's gonna be dusty. Now let's go downstairs. What's up, Fatal Frame 1 protagonist? Yeah, your brother's not here because he's a dipshit. So the window in a small garden, a light drizzle has been falling for several days now. It's been some time since I last tended the garden. I submitted Survivor to Nemesis Percent to a marathon. That's not that's not a mistake. That's a cry for help. Yo, why? Yo, what's up, Veda? Uh, she does have really nice hair. I like that hair clip. We decided against having a TV in our own rooms and bought a bigger one for the living room instead. I hardly watch it at all these days. <gasps> a cat? Oh, my hair. Oh, thank you. I, I got I got it. Uh, I got a cut yesterday. Wait, can I pet the cat? I can't pet the cat. Oh, my God. Refund unplayable. I'm taking this back to Blockbuster. Oh, let me pet the cat. No arcade game I run. Oh, my God. Gross. Does the cat have a name? They don't even mention that the cat is a food bowl. Erg. Uh. Wonder how to pet cats. True. Good morning, Ray. It looks like it's going to rain all day today, too. You don't have to work so much this week, so why don't you try to relax? Ray, you've been working too much lately. You were woken up by a bad dream this morning. Not to mention what happened when we were out collecting data the other day. Anyway, let's try to take it easy today. Blink, blink. That reminds me, there was a letter. It's addressed to you. Letter from K1. Dear you, sorry for not writing for so long. How are things with your fiance? I'm continuing my investigation of the urban legend. Like I thought, my niece's symptoms bear many similarities to the strange disease associated with the urban legend. I think most of the story is groundless rumor, but I've heard there was a psychiatric study done. If you have it, I'd like to see it. Maybe it will provide a clue. I'm taking a break from all my other work to devote myself to studying the urban legend. I'd like your help. According to the documents I've studied, the camera I sent you is apparently a rare camera obscura. Given where I found it, it may have some connection to the missing people in the urban legend. If you hear anything, please tell me. Regards, K. Amakura. It's from K. Amakura. He's written several times before. Have you still not told him about you? Camera obscura. I wonder if it would be in your user room. Oh, shit. Oh, K. Okamura, we got a we got a thingy. Mile. Uh, you also have really nice hair, Bad Dance. Agreed. Bad Dance has some like crazy silky smooth hair. Uh I forgot all my life choice. Oh my god. So you're doing well. Oh, I definitely said no. You don't know how bad Survivor 2 is. Oh shit. I've, how do I open the diary again? I totally forgot. Uh, is it notes? Yeah, okay. People. Kei Amakura. I never met him personally, but he was a friend of you. He used to write from time to time. You seem to have known lots of people, both professionally and privately. Oops. There we go. According to the letter, he and you were doing research on urban legends. Maybe the camera obscura was somehow connected with that. I should tell him about the accident. Storage space under the stairs. I'm gonna make a phone call. Hello? Oh, never mind.
Imagine instead of going to the newsroom, we just like straight up just walk out the house. Or my work schedule, calendar, or supermarket discount days. Miku cooks all the meals. She doesn't enjoy doing all the chores. Oh my god. Yo. This lazy ass. Miku's place in mine. There's a large four burner stoves. I mean, I get that she's still in mourning and grieving and stuff, but still. Can I get a whole Don't make your friend do everything. <laughs> it actually let me leave the apartment. Interesting. Huh. I figured it would stop me until I went and got the camera. Uh, hold up. Now I'm interested. Give me that long loading scene. This is just... Oh yeah, it's a hallway. What the hell? Oh shit, that's back in our house. Fuck. Camera got me all screwed up. Okay, this is actually... <clears throat> this is actually the front door. I, I really like shooting those front guys in kept the bars. Locked. I don't leave the house unless I have to for work. Oh my god. What's in here? A bathroom? Or may have lost a little weight again. I'd like to do that. Uh, it's really helped. Never been good at housework. She's been complaining these past few days. She can't hang the clothes up and dry because of the rain. There's no one in the bath. I'd like to soak in the tub every day. I've just been taking showers. Relaxation room? Clothes chest? Miku's kimonos in the funeral morning that I haven't worn just once. Okay, little shrine. Use altar, you. What's it? And open! What's it? Aww. Well, it's cushions and bedding. The closet is full of used old books. Still where we left them when we first moved. I never looked inside them. I guess they must be something to do with his work. I well, thank you. I appreciate the compliments. I was oblivious to the compliment earlier because I'm not used to taking compliments. So that's threw me off. And I thought you were talking about the, the character's hair. And I was like, it's pretty good. I don't know the door, but it looks like no one is inside. The How do you do, fellow kids? How do you do? Fellow kid This is our photo room. You can just tell from the red light. But they put a sink in so I could deal with my pictures here. The shelf, I keep the negatives of my work photos. I also keep my films and printing paper. I don't have any film I can develop. Uh, okay, so we can come in here and develop film, I guess. If we need to. Another closet. They use space for storing and cleaning the cleaning things and other tools. Some of these hardware boxes haven't been touched since we moved in. Development rooms are automatically spoopy. It's the light. That red light is terrifying. Uh, okay. Well, it won't let me go anywhere, so let me go up to use room and get his camera obscura. Imagine being like the friend and just seeing your friend just like running around the house the entire time. There was something about some sort of camera obscura that you owned written in that letter. The camera obscura. Could it be the same camera I saw in my dream? I don't know. Open the door. Hey, Dusty, you're gonna sneeze a lot. He was pretty organized. Ray, may I help you with something? Oh, I just wanted to ask you. 
That's both terrifying and heartbreaking. This game seems like rooted more thoroughly in real life, like with a car accident and a dead fiance and stuff like that. Whereas the other ones are kind of like crazy ritual shit, which I'm sure will happen eventually in this game. But it kind of makes this game more real. We have a map of my own house. <laughs> Great. I see the camera on the shelf. Ads are going to be started about five minutes chat. And when they do, I'm going to take my first break of the evening. Used clothes are still hanging inside his closet. I decided not to tidy them away. Once they were in boxes, I knew they'd never come out again. Bookshelves are full of volumes of folklore, philosophy, and anthropology. They're all books you use for his work or ones that were published by his company. There was a time when I used to be interested in them, but it was only a passing phase. These are typed and handwritten letters on the desk along with several books. I have hardly touched anything in here since that day. I just can't bring myself to tidy everything away. There's a notebook left out on the top of the desk. Perhaps somebody was in the middle of working. Many of the urban legends classified as Lost Village are modeled on real incidents such as a village was ruined when one villager massacred the others. They are often an amalgamation of well-known actual incidents, legend, and oral tradition. Settings such as the isolated mountain village or bygone customs like night trysts or ceremonies often act to trigger the incidents themselves and these in turn become the motif for urban legends the reason for the popularity of urban legends may lie in the notion of the view of the country from the city or the modern bias towards the ancient the people in the modern city the village is the wilderness and those who live there are different perhaps that scorn or fear finds expression in the urban legend for that reason the setting of the legend must be the isolated mountain village further bygone customs are attractive elements that end up acting to provoke the incident as a case in point, there is a story about the area around the Minikami Dam where Mayu went missing, the Lost Village. In the mountains of the Minikami area, there was once a massacre in the so-called Lost Village. Years ago, on the night of a certain festival, there was a great massacre and the village disappeared from the map. Only one woman survived. If you walk in the forest where the village once lay, there is a small guardian statue that if you continue, you will come to a shrine gate that forms the entrance to the village. If you should pass through the gate, you will never return. The night of the massacre continues in this village where day will never again break and a woman's horrific laugh rings throughout the village. Next, we have the manner of bizarre murders where the same... That's Fatal Frame 2, right? I mean, that sounds just like it. The manner of bizarre murders where the same tragedy recurs. Its scale is smaller, but generally speaking, it resembles the pattern of the village as it is made up of elements based on true incidents. Below is an example of this. It has to do with Mafuyu's disappearance. Okay, this is Fatal Frame 1. The House of Mutilation. In the mountain area of Himuro, there remains a manor where years ago there was said to be a massacre. There have always been vanishings in the nearby forest, and many of the spirited away are said to end up in the manor. Their corpses have been found with both hands, legs, and head severed off. One more example is a seemingly related manner of sleep urban legend that I'm researching now. The manner of sleep legend was picked up in various magazines in the 1960s, but incidents with very similar characteristics can be found here and there in older media. This newspaper is from early 1900s and is of no relation to when the Manor of Sleep legend was taken up, but the background of the spirited aways and those people's later conditions bear many similarities to the Manor of Sleep urban legend. I'm still investigating, but these incidents may trace back to the 19th century, and I have seen legends in several folklore books that may have become the basis for the Manor of Sleep. Uh, this sums up the Japanese show Trick that Kaisho and I used to watch. Two Tokyo people were always investigating some bizarre colder behavior in the countryside. Well, there you go. Uh, an old newspaper stuck to the notebook. Series of vanishing across the region. According to sources before dawn yesterday, a mother and daughter who live in Myojin village went missing. The missing are Makie Kuz Kuzuhara and her daughter Kozue. Uh, since last year, the two have been searching for Kuzuhara's missing husband. The two reportedly watered the mountains nearly every day. The informant says, I hadn't seen them for several days, so I went to visit them. 
There was no answer, so I went inside, but they were gone. I only saw some black suit-like marks. Uh, similar disappearances are being reported across the area, and some are calling them spirited aways. I got use research. Let's take his camera, too. Don't a letter and a camera similar to what I saw in my dream. It looks like the letter is from K. <laughs> Dear you, or Kai, I don't know how to pronounce it. During my research on the Manor of Sleep Urban Legend, I finally made it to a certain deserted village lost even from the map. I found this camera in a huge abandoned house near that village. My niece, Mio, when Mayu disappeared, she caused you a lot of trouble, so you probably remember her, saw this camera, and she was scared stiff. I wonder if it reminded her of that unspeakable incident. For now, I'd like you to take care of the camera. You know about antiques, so could you look it over for me? I don't think you'll be able to reach me for a bit, but I'll contact you, so let me know when you find them. Uh, what you find then regards Kai Amakura. So this guy is the uncle of the Fatal Frame 2 girls. Camera Obscura. There was no response. Looks like it's broken. That. There is still an old film inside the Camera Obscura. The film looks pretty old, but it doesn't seem to have been spoiled by being exposed at all. What could be on it? I wonder if I can develop it in the dark room. Uh, yes, this. Um, hold on. Let's read our notes. We just picked up a couple notes. Um, Dude, fuck you, Keishi. There is semen. Ah, uh, that is... Serum. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is brutal irony. <gasps> brutal irony. This clip ends with me saying something like, I can't play this game. I can't play this game. Mm hmm All right. He was research. According to the notebook left on his desk, he was doing some research for Kai Amakura. His notes are full of accounts of old urban legends and newspaper clippings about disappearances and people who were spirited away. I knew Miyazaki was behind this. An old camera etched with the words camera obscura. I found a camera like the one I picked up in my dream and used room. Apparently Kai sent it to him. Is this the same camera I saw in my dream? The extended edition? Uh, I was playing Vandal Hearts. At least I'm pretty sure that was Vandal Hearts. Great game, by the way. If you haven't played it before, Vandal Hearts is awesome. I'm not a big tactics guy. Mainly because I suck at tactics style games, but that game was awesome. I also killed my whole party on a bridge in that game and had to reset. Hi. Can you talk to Miku some more? Oh, you can't. It's raining again. What'd she say? Ray, you've been working too hard. You should get some rest. Huh. Can I pet the, the cat? Where's the cat? If you like text games, I suggest you try Kami Dory Alchemy Meister. Great game with alchemy in it. That sounds fun. Again, I'm not a big tactics guy, but I, I can check it out. I say all the time on stream that I'm not, you know, there's certain games that I'm just not very good at and don't really play a lot, but that doesn't mean that I'm not willing to give them a try. Uh, which one was the... It's this one. Definitely not a subtle joke. Wait, what? I don't get it. Uh. Oh, this is the one that I took. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is the one I took and I was like, what the hell is this? Oh, the image has appeared of a crying woman. Oh, you're not allowed to play it on Twitch. Oh, it's banned. Oh, rip. It's got boobies in it. It's okay. I must have taken this during that dream. All the film has been developed. The crying woman. The abandoned house. The picture I took in my dream. Maybe if I investigate this woman, I can find something out. Okay. What do we do with that? that it's going to require us to leave our house. Nice. Oh, this clip is new. Don't talk about the videos of Keishi out there. Ooh. 
<laughs> Daddy. <laughs> it's true. Daddy, what? Is oh no. <laughs> no. Please, God, no. Please, no. <laughs> hope the He's gonna have flashbacks sense. from Nom. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Uh, Miku, about the woman in this picture, I was wondering if I could get you to try and find out as much as you about her as you can. Anything is fine. Yes, well, this is a very old picture, so I found it in the newsroom. It's okay if you can't find anything out. There was just something about her. Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything. She's equally as one-dimensional as she was in Fatal Frame 1. If you show the photos you developed to Miku, sometimes you can ask her to investigate them for you. If you have them investigated, you can come talk to Miku later to get books and other information. I will go find out the information for you. Whoa. Okay. If you check the bed with X, you can sleep. We just change clothes. By checking the camera obscure on the desk, you can save your progress. Oh, she's wearing slippers. I thought she was wearing straight up tennis shoes. I was like, what the hell? Who wears their tennis shoes to bed? Sure, let's save. Is Miku still upstairs? I open up the closet. Does a scary ghost pop out? No. Uh, whoops. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Yes. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. Okay, she said someone clipped this just because of her butt. Know they're expendable. Exactly. The talons are mine already. They just don't know it yet. Oh, okay. Just no one here. Yeah. Casey the other day said that clip is really weird because he doesn't know one why it has so many views and two why anyone would clip it. Hey Miku, you awake? Was it Casey? I don't know who clipped it. I, I can't tell. The bot said to pick like only from the top clips, not from all the clips. So, if you go to his channel and go to his top clips, you can probably figure it out. But that's a lot of work. I know this is kind of dumb and wasting time, but I just want to see if... Anyone in the shower? I want to soak my feet. Gotta, gotta work on these bunions. Probably nothing to do down here, but you never know. Huh, no one's in the other toilet. This house is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, this is, uh, Ray's and, uh, her fiance's use. Dude, huge living room, great kitchen, two stories, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, another sitting room, a camera development spot and like enough closets to to hang millions of clothes. People were loaded. All right, let's go to sleep. Are we going back to the dream house? We sure are. Okay. Resident Evil Japan. The architecture is some of the best part of this franchise, for sure. Those are snowflakes. It snows in my dreams. Oh shoot, Keishi's on break. Everyone go over to Keishi's channel real quick and just post a bunch of freaking emotes. The stream again.
Finally getting myself on the train, then grocery shopping? Oh my god, good luck. Oh, we can go outside? Wait, what? Oh, interesting. I'm gonna remember that. One of these we found a health, right? Oh shit! Oh my god! Why? I kind of want to go outside, but I'm like afraid it's going to make me like skip the dream sequence or something. I don't want. Hello? Well, it's not all grainy and shit. Well, I guess it wasn't last time. Oh, she's here. I see that. Good job. I appreciate you. You will be rewarded handsomely for your efforts for the good of the cause. Uh oh, she's looking at something. Hell yeah. There's a clock on the wall. I'd say that I'd increase your pay, but I'm still too poor to actually pay anyone. So for their efforts. I apologize. I'm really looking forward to December. December is... Oh, close. December is a three-pay period for me. Uh, it's always like June and December. Oh, shit. Hey! That actually scared me. I was like, oh, God. No, oh, Jay, thank you so much for the rain. Guys and guys and chat, please make sure you're going and following Young Jay at your earliest convenience. Dude's funny. He's actually a gamer. He plays cool games and does cool stuff. He should go away. You're streaming. Oh my god. And. Yo, is this Destiny 2? Destiny 1? Sorry, bud. Oh my god. See, Jay's so nice, he apologizes for his kills. Look at that. Yo, how was <gasps> Def Jab? What the fuck was that? Oh, he didn't get the kill that time, that's why he didn't apologize. But yeah, Jay's a really nice guy. Super cool. Known him for quite a while. And as I said, you can't go wrong. Uh, please make sure to go give him a follow at your earliest convenience. Everyone's coming over from Jay's stream. My name is Max. It's great to see you guys. We're playing some Fatal Frame, uh, Fatal Frame 3 and raising money for the ASPCA. But I thank you guys for coming by, and I hope you enjoy your stay. I see you. I, didn't want to I saw you, crazy lady. I'm gonna save my game. All right. But yeah, how was Def Jam? Did you save New York? That's what you were fighting for, was it not? So when someone asks you, what are you fighting for? You can respond. New York. Oh, God damn it! She keeps running away. You saved New York. Good. And you put all the bad stuff in New Jersey. Oh, there's doors every. Oh, that's not a door. Never mind. But it's too heavy. Perhaps only a man can move it? Hmm. Interesting phrasing. Ah. Well, it's good to see you, man. Usually you're streaming after, after me most of the time. I like to go in and lurk for a little bit before I go to bed. Found a part for the camera obscura. You now acquired the equipped function alarm. Uh, indicates when a fatal frame will happen. When being attacked by a ghost, the top part of the viewfinder may flash red and an alarm will ring. The instant is more powerful shutter chance called the fatal frame. If you shoot during the fatal frame, you can repel the ghost backwards and inflict great damage. If you take another shot while the ghost is being repelled back, you can perform the chain shot combo. Um, did I find Carlos? Oh my god. Oh, the sexy ladies in the magazine. Okay, I can move mainly things. 
Yeah, I know. These games were developed in different times, man. Start Icon next, which is the last one. Oh, very cool. I've never played any of them. So that sounds awesome. I'm shaking my fist right along with you, Winglet. Hello? Oh, a keyhole with a four point well. But yeah, I started around 11 a.m. because I was awake on an off day. Jesus! Wait a minute. So you've been streaming for almost 10 hours? Holy shit, Mike. I, I approve of your determination. I remember when I used to stream for a long time. It was a lot of fun. I miss those days. Oh, wait. She went up one staircase. Where does this one go? In my video? Another? There's a stone slate on the door and several stones are inlaid. Perhaps it is a contri con contri contrivance? To unlock it. You try, but it won't open. There is a minute script engraved in the stone slab. Engrave in the pedestal the same number of panes as are engraved in the sleeping stone. Well, I'm going to have to find a rock or something. Hey, found some film. Long streams are a good time. I agree, man. I agree wholeheartedly. Old Japanese chest, nothing useful. Old chests, the outer air is rotted away, nothing useful. A kimono here. Oh, it's a red cloth. Well, if I find a rock, I need to come back up here. And there were like at least three keys. One of them's at the very beginning of the manor. One of them is up a ladder. And I just found the third one, so. Hello? Who went in here? Can I get a okay, that's the other staircase we're just Back this way. Uh-oh, it's getting all grainy. That means there's a ghost to go around. Don't they? Ooh, it's an evil one, too. It's like right here. Maybe it's upstairs? Let's try upstairs. Where is this ghost? Well, maybe it's downstairs. Yeah, there you are. Hello. I don't know if you're good or bad. Talisman has been defeated. Oh, yeah, okay. You know, I saw something in a yard the other day. Oh, shit. Ooh. 
She was there, and then she wasn't there. the wall. Is that a fatal frame? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, get her again. Oh, yeah. The double. Oh, I could have got a triple. Badge. My husband. He's behind me? Oh, bitch. Oh, that wasn't a fatal frame. I blinked at me. Okay, goodbye. Anything? The presence in front of the door is fading. But I saw something in the yard, in a yard the other day, which uh, was interesting. So usually, right, as soon as Halloween's over, everything becomes Christmas. Everyone forgets that November even exists, that there's another holiday between October and November. It's called Thanksgiving. And uh, it's a great holiday. And uh, they just immediately jump to Christmas. And so I was driving past some houses on my way into... Was I going to work? I'm not sure. I was going somewhere. And I see people taking down their Halloween stuff, some people putting up their Christmas stuff. And I see this guy outside, and he just blew up this inflatable decoration in his yard. And it was an inflatable turkey. And I was like, oh my god, this guy has a freaking... Uh, Thanksgiving decorations. I was like, what a cool dude. All right, we got her picture. I don't want to talk to her just yet. I want to see if there's a first. Uh, I need to get me some Thanksgiving decorations. The dead person in here. I want to crack a window. Okay. Hi. She's got huge feet. Oh my god. I called out, but there was no reply. A notebook or something is laying at the feet of the crouching woman. It looks like a sticky notepad because of how gigantic her feet are. Burnt passport. Surname Takigawa, given name Yoshi. Oh, nice. It's a Nintendo game. Nationality Japanese, registered domicile Shizuoka. It's been pretty badly scorched, but I can just make out thin traces of the writing. Yoshino Takigawa. Uh, could this be her name? Ask her. I'm gonna take another picture of her real quick. Fudge. There was no response. <laughs> Me. You please wake me up. I didn't do anything wrong. Why? Uh oh. <sighs> Dang, we didn't get to go out the front door. <sighs> oh God. You need some lotion for your new tats. The bruise appears. Let's read our new notes. No, not the ghost list. New notes. The bruise appears. Uh, the pain flared up again after my dream of the empty house. Since the vision I had that day, I keep seeing the house in my dreams. The pain I felt when the tattooed woman touched me, the bruise, the dream, the house, are they connected to you somehow? Or am I just tired? The voices behind the wall. In the storage space under the stairs was a small locked door. A low, mournful moaning was coming from inside. What could be in there? Oh no. 
The woman on the film in the camera obscura whom I saw running lost through the running lost through the dream manner. Her name was written in the charred passport that fell at her feet. Yoshino Takigawa. Does such a person really exist? I don't know. Find out next time. Dragon Ball Z. Why don't I ever have any tapes I want to listen to? Save complete. Let's go talk to uh, Miku again. At least give her the name of the, the lady. And see if the cat's back. Oh, where is she? Yes! Yes! What are we doing? Pet the damn cat. What did we just do? We sit and we stare at the cat. We don't pet the cat. We don't do anything else. We just stare at the cat. Oh my god. Okay. Where's Miku at? Do we have any film to develop? Probably not. The cat is the best part of the game. I know, we don't get to touch it, though. Admire the cat, respectively. Oh, respectfully. The cute cat. I like black cats. I am very partial to calico cats. I have owned two of them. No, oh, three. And uh, I love them to death. They're super derpy and very talkative. But black cats are also awesome. I owned a black cat when I was a kid. And Becca wants an orange cat as well to go along with the black cat because they're derpy. Because all orange cats share one singular brain cell. Okay. I assume that I'm shut in, so I can't get out, right? Yep. We're on quarantine. It's COVID times. In 1988. It's closer. Oh. There's a file on the kitchen counter. Oh, okay. Dear Ray, I've gone out to do some research on the woman from the other day. I'll be back later this evening. Make sure you eat breakfast, okay, Miku? In addition, the kitchen counter, a breakfast of perfectly made rice balls has been prepared. <coughs> Meow! I heard that. Where are you? Let me pet you! <coughs> uh, you can see right across the living room. Wait, where's the rice bowl? Also, I keep hearing the cat, but I don't see it. What? 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 I don't like this. Is the cat upstairs? Where's the cat? To be fair, the cat is more important than the phone, but... Hello? Hello? Wei, it's Miku. Yoshino Takagawa, or whatever I said. I was able to get the name and address of the woman in the photo. Yoshino Takagawa. She's the only survivor of a plane crash that happened the other day. I knew I had seen her before. It all came together when I asked one of the editors. It seemed that she's still being hospitalized. I'll tell you the location of the hospital. Yoshino Takagawa. She's been asleep for a long time, and no one has been able to wake her.
Not her fault that she's the only survivor, though. How does everyone in video games and movies sleep perfectly under the covers? I go to sleep and I feel like I'm decently under the covers and I wake up and like half a leg is out of the covers and you know, my arms all flailed out. She been spirited away. Dude, I agree, Fran. It's so it's so frustrating. It's one of the things that I dislike about a lot of the games is that whole ringing in the ears sound that they keep playing. Did you go to the hospital? Mm-hmm. Tinnitus is ringing in your ears. Uh oh, shower scene. Look away, chat. And we're ready for bed again. In hands. Okay, uh, let us take a look at our notebook before we go back into the dream world. The female survivor, Yoshino Takigawa, it's definitely the same woman I saw in the dream manner. The sole survivor of a plane crash, she slept constantly in the hospital after the accident until the day she disappeared in front of my eyes. A blue pattern appeared on her body the instant before she vanished. What was it? Is she connected to the woman in my dream? And if so... Also, I think it's a little unfair to say, oh, the survivor of the plane crash. Yeah, she's just been asleep for a really long time. She's being lazy as shit. Like, she's probably in a coma. It's rude. Save complete. Save complete. Do we want to sleep? Yes. This time we're going to try to go out the front door and see what happens. We just wake up. But it's still nighttime. Okay. Uh, okay. I wonder if it matters how many times we wake up that the, 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 the tattoo gets on our back more and more. We might have just <laughs> fucked ourselves out of a day. Uh. All right, let me back in here so I can look for ghosts. Still don't have the key for that. I still only found one help item. Something right there. What's that? There's another corridor like this on the other side of the wall. Let's go this way. Hey, wait, 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 wait. 
Okay. Oh, I'll take that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is where the woman and her daughter was. They were looking for my husband. I honestly don't know which way we're supposed to be going, so I just picked a direction and was like, yes! We're going this way! Going in until it tells me I can't go any further. Oh, there's a ghosty goo in here somewhere. Oh, I think on the other side of the wall here. Ooh, I'm actually. I've fifteen hundred points for that. The sound that they're making is very off-putting. <laughs> ooh, My boss reminded me today that tomorrow is uh, election day, local elections. And so he was like, make sure to vote. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I'll go vote. I have no problem doing my civic duty, but I have no earthly clue about any of the candidates or anything like that. So. Luckily enough for me, I don't have to vote on too many things. I think I just have to vote on city council and mayor. So that's what we're going to do. As long as they give me an I voted Steve. That's what matters. Don't for, vote for Steve. Heck, Steve. I don't think we have a Steve on the ballot, which is good. Because if we did, he wouldn't be getting my vote. Steve. That's a ghost sound. That's a terrible sound, actually. Ugh. What is that? I hate that. That's horrible. Let me out. Thank you. Even I probably need to go back in there, though. If I'm hearing that sound, that means there's probably something in there that I need. Or need to take a picture of. A ghosty goose! Look at him go! I'm following him. Oh, thanks for doing the shout-out for Batman. Ghosty goose? It's her again. I thought she died. Is she like full ghost now?
Oh, it's a Hazuki doll again. As I say, we're just gonna gloss over that doll. I heard that Kaisha smells like anime boobies. Uh -huh. Like a field of roses. Can't smell anything right now anyway. My allergies are kicking my ass. Okay, that wasn't that scary. What the heck? You've seen this woman before. Stay back. Oh, now that's creepy as fuck. It's just like faces. Getting in your fatal frame. Oh shit! Oh god, I got hit. Ow. This is one of those situations where we gotta take a picture of the bald spot. Oh. I'm just gonna take a bunch of normal photos then. Oops. Deserve that. Ah! Shit! Wasted a bunch of film here, though. Oshed? A ghost to you. Oh no, she's bad now. Oh, you were the chosen one. Go for it. Probably will be soon, though. <sighs> oh, oh, let's see how much more tattoo we have. with that face dude oh my god uh. <laughs> she was just like what you doing down there oh my god oh, 
Daytime. The bruise spreads. Let's read our note. I saw the bruise clearly when I woke. The pain is worse than yesterday. The bruise is spreading. A spreading bruise. The Yoshino Takigawa had a bruise like this before she vanished. She was in the dream too. Was she having these same dreams? The bruise. The dreams. What do they mean? The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? All right, let's save the game, but we're going to save on the second slot. Because I'm worried that I might have lost some time by going in and out of the dream door. I don't know if that's true, but... Thank you.